<laughs> Welcome. It's run button pilot season, Keith. Yeah. That means is. that means we're doing uh, a series of single episodes of potential let's plays and then our patrons that support us on patreon.com slash run button are going to watch all these pilots and they're going to vote you are too even if you're not a patron you should become one but you can still watch these you can watch them if you you would like and and then the patrons will vote for which one will become the next patreon exclusive let's play that we do and uh here's what i'm bringing today i'm bringing rare replay now i called kyle out on this already so don't bother saying this is not one game this is a collection of 30 different games it's a collection of 30 different games from uh rare software projects can... let's, let's just watch this fun intro this is a fun one right yeah yeah we got battle toads Grabbed by the ghoulies conquers bad fur day whatever that Jet, is Jet, Jet, jetpack man last core Viva Pinata. This is a fucking murderer's row of video games here. All from the same developer. I mean, it's... it's. We've been talking about maybe doing a Let's Play of this for a while. Yeah. My vision for this is not that we're gonna finish every game or that we're gonna go in order or any of that shit. It's just like, hey, what are we feeling like we today? Feeling like? We feeling like doing 20 minutes of Trouble in Paradise? Let's do 20 minutes of Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, whatever. We feeling like we just want to do some slalom? Let's just if, do some slalom. Yeah, if, if we just want to play, like, bad Goldeneye, we can load up Perfect Dark. And right. if we if we want to play really bad Goldeneye, we can load up Perfect Dark Zero. Double burn. Because um, Rare is a developer that has made a lot of great games, but even more than that, a lot of different games so that's what's so cool about this is this package i mean they're not all winners here out of this 30 no of course but not. most of them are really good and almost all of them are very different from one another uh jeb Owen says wasn't there already a six hour rare replay stream whatever get over it we got so it these are all in uh, chronological orders so this is their first game jetpack it sucks i like it you can play it for two seconds All right, we can just look at it. There we go. That's Jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All, all right, right this so is, if you want to vote for Rare Replay... You way can... too slow. <laughs> Wait, Lunar Jetman. This is some of the early uh, stuff. Most of the stuff was... Gunfight. Uh, Ooh, that one's impossible to understand what's happening. No, yet. we did it. Remember? We we figured it out. We understood we? Gunfight at some point. Yeah. And then here's where they get into the NES. Slalom is, is one of is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a good one. Who doesn't remember RC Pro Am, Keith? What else we got in here? Battle Toads, Blast Core. That's that is one. We could play this whole game. It's short and it's great. And it's good. Banjo Kazooie. I didn't even remember that one. How did Jeff you forget Force, that Gemini? one? Gemini. I don't know. Perfect. Dark. So what do you look at all these games? Play? Look at look at this. Yeah, look at it. It's a lot. And then there's this one. Nuts and Bolts, excellent That's game. That's a good game, Viva Pinata. So what, which one do you want to do? Let's uh, well, play Blast Core then. Okay. Blast Core, that is a game from my childhood, from the N64, uh, has one of the silliest premises that's ever existed, which is uh, the premise is there is a truck carrying nuclear missiles i guess some kind of nuclear something yeah and uh it detected this one right here it detected a leak uh from whatever it was carrying and this truck was programmed that if it ever detected that that it would lock itself on a, a unalterable course towards some sort of predetermined safe detonation location uh-huh and but the only problem is that if anything taps this truck, it'll basically be like a nuclear bomb going off, and there's tons of buildings. The, the, the safe detonation and uh, the safe detonation site is basically on the other side of the planet from this truck. Uh huh. So the only logical thing to do 
is to demolish every single building in in the truck's path so that it yeah can... they didn't they didn't want to have the truck use the roads right so we don't we don't want everything to get blown up so we got to knock it down and if you don't think that makes sense then you just don't get blast core yeah Here's our mission select, and I'm gonna jump into the first one. What's fun about this is there's fun different vehicles you can use in each level. In this first one, I got a bulldozer. So these red ones are all the ones that we have to demolish. And then Kyle, they probably take away points if you accidentally demolish buildings that you shouldn't have. Demolished. See, that's what you don't want to do. Yeah. Did you, you don't do want to crash purpose, into the or? truck. Yeah, I did. Are you sure? Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I know you're asking, Keith. It's actually demolishing buildings. You're not so you don't need to. That's almost encouraged. In in fact, it is encouraged. Just to make sure it's extra safe. Yeah. Destruction of this building is essential. Also, the music is hilarious. The music in this game's great, though. It's good, but it's it is like for the situation that you're in. Whee! So the the arrows will turn slowly turn red as the truck gets closer. And it's just I just like I just like blowing up these just buildings. Like knocking down the, so the cool thing about this game is that how different the different vehicles are. Crushing it is not vital. Then again, it's fun and might reveal a surprise or two. Um. So in, in every level, there's sort of... Your primary objective is clear a path for the carrier so it doesn't blow anything up. But then after you do that, you can come back to the level when it's basically empty and you can uh, finish up destroying all the buildings, uh, lighting up all these weird LEDs on the ground. I don't, I don't know. Very cool that you can do all that. Immersive. Um. Like, let's see. I, I'll, I'll get in Do one you not have So to... I can get out on this little guy here. I can get into this train. And then you see there's a car on the train. Can oh. you destroy stuff with the car? Sort of. But these are, there are race missions. Uh. And so what this does, finding this car has unlocked this car for use in races and other, other levels. Um, and this car is indestructible. You can't just, this car doesn't get damaged. No. Right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Dude, you forgot to not do that. Ah, uh, bummer. That sucks. Go for it. All right, what should we do so, next? So, Kyle, what? you've always loved this game. Uh-huh. Actually, like, when I was a kid, I liked it, but I thought it was bad. And then when I, I came back to it years later, and I was like, oh, I was wrong. This game's great. Well, bad means something different when you're an idiot kid. Yeah. Because, like, by the, by the standards you were using as a kid, it is bad. Is it? Yeah, you probably were like, it looks stupid. You need to blow shit up. I think I thought it was hard when I was a kid. Now it's very easy. All right, let me try one. All right, you, you why don't you take this one? But yeah, this is the one I was gonna do. This is one I, I want to just look at the. Oh, that one's fun. That that one's like two minutes long. What is so, this one? What is this? Um, so the big circles are like your your main missions, and the smaller ones are like side missions. Well, I like... Uh, no, but what vehicle is this? Is this? Oh, that one? It it has, like, two... You see the sides of its trailer? They pop out, so you're, like, crushing stuff that's next to you. It's very strange. This is the one that I always remembered as a kid. The big robot mission. Okay. 
right? That's this one. Yeah, it is. You don't start in the robot, though. No? What was that? Is that, some, is that a thing? No, it is HP Photo Custom Tip. Oh, okay. Thanks, HP Photo. So I believe this robot is like, if you go straight up that way, like... Oops. Which way? <laughs> that way. <laughs> You gotta be careful because it's, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh. no. Go. I don't see it. Yep. Go for it. Yeah, the, the RDUs are just your 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 basic collectible. This is, like, a this is a very. This is a. Uh, this is this a very is, good. Yeah, this is um, so good. Twist on what's happening here. Yeah. Survivors escape when the walls around them are destroyed. Basically, what you're doing you're fro. You're just freeing survivors from the from their homes. Yeah, it's it's so amazing when you you knock down an entire building. And it just says survivors freed. <laughs> So is there more? So red is when the thing is close, right? Yeah. And uh, this was... Um, I don't think it was a launch game in the U.S., but it, I think it came out in like the first couple months of the N64. So, you know, it's like... There, it, there's some fucking horrific textures in this game. Like this weird like square of... Mud. I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but like destroying stuff still fun. There was the robot back there you just passed. I don't know oh, you where? That. Keep going. There, right there. So it's uh, yeah. Nope. This is, I'm this the, is robot the acrobat man. robot. Yes, it's me. Watch out, the truck is over there. Oh, no, I don't want to get in there. Got a scratch on it. No, wait, I want to keep going. No uh, you can you can jump back in. If you do, uh, go. So the wait, bump into here. that thing. That what satellite thing? thing. It unlocks like a side mission. And then, uh, wow. I think if you, yeah, if you just kind of go that direction, I think we'll get to the robot eventually. So some of these missions later you knock on... knock down everything in the world except, except trees. trees. yeah. <laughs> oh, there he goes. In, in some of the later levels, uh, finding the, like, alternate vehicles and stuff in the level gets to be Why do elaborate. I remember that I could... Fly. There's there's a different one that there's flies. A different rope. Yeah. Okay. That's the one that I remember. Oh. So acrobatic. Kyle. I don't remember this one's name. Acrobatic robot. Huh? They all have like. Transformer names, basically. There's Backlash and Sideswipe and J-Bomb. Ooh, I can get all, all these... Oh, all these lights! Yeah, get them lights! So do the lights prolong the mission? No, it's just the collectible. It's just, like, light up all the lights. And then when you do it, it'll tell you you did a good job. Zoom out. Look at all those survivors I freed. Zoom out? How do I do that? Uh, right stick down. Anyway. It's basically the right The right stick is the C button. Though. It is like, this game is so dumb, but it is like weirdly fun to just blow, to like just yeah. jump into a building. You need to get that stair, that stoop. You missed a stoop. Oh, I need to get the stoop. Oh. There it is. Get that stoop. That was that was a four hundred and fifty thousand dollars stoop. It's an expensive stoop. Sometimes I can do the full thing, and sometimes I, it just it's work. it it only does the full thing if you blow something up when you do it. Oh, uh, okay. 
And you can get in that truck to end it, yeah. I know all about getting in the truck to end it. All right, I'm sorry. Go to exit and then pick J-Bomb. J-Bomb. Yeah, I think it's the top right one. Ooh, I remember this guy too, the flippy one up in the top right. No, that's a motorcycle with uh, missile launchers on it. Doesn't it flip? Nope. Uh, it kind of does like a wheelie. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. That, Is this the flying That guy robot? does... No, I just told you top right. Top right. This guy? Yep. That's the guy. Yeah! Try yeah. I did mean to skip their little video, but... I think you'll Yeah, this it one out. is fun because it's just like, yeah, just destroy them. Do I... Just fuck your shit. What do I it's do to B them? or X, I guess. Uh, yeah, no, it's... Yeah, it's B. Yeah, it's probably this both. is what I remember. You just, like, stomp them. Just stomp them? I love how... I love, like, this industry of building these enormous robots whose sole purpose is... <laughs> Destroy, <laughs> destroy your own country's buildings in the event that this one dumb car has to go to the right parking garage to blow itself up. Oh, what a what a good game! This this game is a plus. See now, if this guy and the flippy guy were the same robot, that would be. Yeah, I think that's kind of what disappointed me about it initially was, like, on the box, there were, like, a bunch of robots. And then it's sort of, like, it's fun to play, but I was disappointed how, like, each robot really just does one thing. Like, you have the yeah. backflip robot. It does backflips through buildings, but that's it, though. Someone asked you what your favorite Transformer is. Oh, uh, that's, that's such a hard question. Um, and then someone else said that asking you would be a can of worms. Yeah, it's, there's, there's so many... There's so many. There's Is a hundred Is it Megazord? <laughs> yeah, Megazord's a pretty good transformer, yeah. Um, He's a combiner. Combiner type? Um, Can I do a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's this... not Ultratron? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say Megatron? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just fucking oh, okay. around. This, see, this is Backlash. This is the hard, the hardest one. Oh, I remember this guy, too. I also, I, I, I'm saying it like I haven't played this game in forever. I played this game when Rare Replay came out. Oh. God damn it. Don't get there. No. No. Oh. I'm, I quit. I, <laughs> fuck this. Um, all right, so. Good luck. Mega, um. Ah. No. Gotta... What was the first thing that I said? Megazord. Megazord. And then Ultra Trons. Yeah. Um. Alright, so who's your favorite Transformer then? I don't know. I like a lot of Transformers. Yeah, but which one's your favorite one? I don't know. If you got to have one Transformer be your, you know, Bumblebee to Shire LaBeouf. It's not fucking Bumblebee, I'll say that much. I don't know what people like about Bumblebee so much. I, I don't know. I have no idea because I don't like or know uh -huh. anything about Transformers. Uh, I think I right now I'm quite fond of Tailgate. Tailgate, that's a, the party robot. That's a nice. That's a comic specific Transformer. Is he the party robot? Uh, no. He's, he's like no, his, his thing is his thing is uh, uh he's he's earnest and uh, he. I thought his name was Tailgate. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, his, Got him. Na his name's Tailgate, but he does get scared silly. Wait, did I just do one we already did? Oh, no, there's a different one. Okay. Tailgate accidentally passes out for six million years and misses the entire Autobot Decepticon War and then wakes up in a world that he doesn't recognize. Got it. Uh, there's also Swerve. He's like a, he's like a comic relief character, and he uh, runs a bar. Why is Tailgate called Tailgate? I don't know. Why are any of them called anything that they are? Um, Bumblebee's yellow, right? That's probably why. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but even Meg then... Megatron is, like, Mega. Yeah. Um, and who's the other leader? Uh, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Um, uh, and he's, he's also a leader because he's Prime. Uh -huh. so that makes sense. Yep. Star Scream because he's a ship, he's space like a in the sky ship, right? Yeah, but that's more like Sky Scream. 
Well, star sky, stars are in the sky. Sky scream, scream you scream. He has a horrible voice. We right? all scream for sky scream. Sky, star scream kind of sounds like um, the skull face man for He Man, right? They kind of have sort of, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he was named before or after he got the voice, but yeah, totally. Uh, you hear it was called like Star Talk. The actor got in there and was like, like this is a you're doing more of a star screen. And they're like, oh, that's a better name, actually. There was uh, some mini documentary that came with uh, the Transformer DVD collection I got. They showed at some point, like at some point, they renamed all the characters. Someone was like, "These characters got named bad," and like redid it before they put the show out. So there was a picture of a script with a character called Ulktor, and Ulktor was scribbled out, and someone had handwritten in Starscream above it. So Starscream was originally going to be called Ulktor. <laughs> that that Ulk, Ulktor sounds more like uh, one of the, the Transformer Beast um, Beast Wars characters. No, the Beast Wars characters were all like Waspinator and Scorponok and uh, Cheetor and Rat Trap. Okay, but so Ulktor, does that not sound more more like Cheetor than anything else? All right, fine. There is somebody named Tor. Yeah, you got it. Oh, Soundwave. Yes, yeah, Soundwave's a really good Transformer. I like Soundwave a lot. He's... He turns into a tape deck, and then he's got all his little tapes that turn into his little buddies. Now, as a, so, as a tape deck, is he very useful? Uh, in the original cartoon, it was all about uh, he would. Um, oh wait, I can't. I can't do anything over there yet. He would. Uh, fucking, why are we still playing Blast Core? Besides the fact that it's great. Oh, how do I, how do I do this? Okay. Oh, I didn't know about this at all. What? Uh, Bionicle was sued by the Mayori and did an in-universe renaming ceremony. Oh wow. Huh. Good for the Mayori, I guess. Who's that? It's like it's a it's an indigenous tribe to. Um, oh yeah, because all all the names of the Bionicles were all yeah like. They were all sort of like. Uh, um, I would I would say I would say they're all like the Polynesian from, but I'm not name exactly a hundred percent sure. I'm gonna guess Polynesia, somewhere in um, somewhere in that area. It's probably Maori, not Maori. I don't know. That's how I always heard it. I listen. I all the only thing that you can do as a human is pronounce words the way you heard someone else say them. So. Um, that's how I pronounced it. Adam Goodall wrote out a pronunciation, and that's how I said it. That line over the A is A, Maori. That's what I said. Okay, yeah, New Zealand is what I was going to say, but I wasn't... Nailed it. It was a Polynesian thing. Hey, let's do uh, Battletoads. You got a... New Zealand isn't is in Polynesia? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Keeps Googling. That's okay. I'm going to look for another controller and we're going to play Battletoads. Where do you have another um, Adam says, Keith, it's definitely not Maori. I'm not saying it's not, but whoever whoever put the pronunciation up there had the, the line over the A, and that's not... That is what I said. I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm saying that the person that put that into the chat is what I said. So, like, you can't say, Keith, it's not Maori, it's, and then give a pronunciation guide that reads Maori. Kyle, it's Maori. Keith, you have Oh, well, I guess you must have played this back when Rare Replay came out. No, I've never played it. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't I, play it. I had never played it until this came out, but... Uh, I was kind of like, all right, I, I kind of get why people are nostalgic for this game it's definitely like visually impressive for an nes game well done with the door close hey what's up so what is this dumb game this is a beat-em-up it's one of them side-scrolling brawlers i don't like that 
I like that ship. That looks cool. It's got like a bird beak on it. I don't know why. Uh, press start maybe? Dope. Now we're paused. Huh. Yeah. That's a good beat on the pause menu though. Do that. Um I guess we're going back. Yeah, we gotta go back. Game options. Turn off the filter. Do we not want to turn on infinite lives? Nah. Alright. We're just gonna play like the first level. All right, you don't push anything. Let me. Well, if I'm not playing, what can pushing something do? Am I missing something? I. Wait. <sighs> what? I know you said not to do anything, but I didn't want to listen to you. Uh huh. So now I just have to restart it again. Well, you might not. Oh, now See? there's. What? Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, see? okay, fine. Sure. Yeah, why not? All right, so I can punch. What else can I do? I don't know. There's other... Bu oh, okay. B is jump, and A is punch and also grab guys. Can you do anything else or just one straight punch? Oh, that's a guy. Oh, we gotta... Okay. You gotta make him bend all the way over and then he goes like Wah. oh nice ah! I hope that doesn't hurt me that would be bullshit damn it let's see if it hurts you oh nice if you run you can do like a kick I guess ah! yeah like that ow That looks like health or something. Yeah, it looks like flies to eat. I think we Sorry. missed it. Yeah, it does hurt me. Cool. I got points for it, too. That's weird. You can see why people were nostalgic for this? Uh, when you, with the boss, specifically the boss, I was like, okay, yeah. Sorry. It's really hard to... I mean, I don't know if you've played any other beat-em-ups on the NES. It's They're pretty dismal. Yeah, this, so far, I'm feeling like this sucks. It was a different time. Man, sucks always sucks. Nah. Oh, okay, bye. Game over. Press start to continue! At least we didn't have infinite lives. Huh? There, are you happy now? You did you rewind on, too? No. Why would we need that? We have infinite lives. To not have to, you know. Ah! Can we go back a little bit? No? Yeah, I don't think so. Ugh, fine. Jeez. This music also sucks. You know it's good, though. What? This music. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a jam. Um, she's got the whole rare replay is the pilot episode. Ah! Don't go with me, man. What's the grab again? Uh, I think you just like hold A or something. Yeah, good. Thank you for that. Whack! I'm ready for whatever. Oh, you don't have to... Okay, you don't have to... J uh, okay. I get it now. I guess we're just waiting for this guy to come back. Wow! How do we... Okay. Ow. Sorry. Stop punch me. You stop punch me, please. I didn't mean to. 
Ow, think about stop that. throwing me. You just hey, give it. me that back. This was my pipe. You know that. You know that this was my pipe. I took it fair and square. But you, when you took it, that was out of line. Ah! This guy's tough. This flying pig monster is tough. Yeah, man, this music is like such shit. Yeah. Maybe it was a better song. I could get into this a little bit. Yeah, this one. This is not a. It's not a jam. I must say. Uh. Where'd they get those ground tubes? I don't know. Yeah, Walmart. Maybe it was Walmart. You're dead now. Oh, here we go. This is the boss? Look at this. You fight the boss from the boss's perspective. That's pretty cool. Second person gameplay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This, this is, if nothing else, it's very technically impressive for the NES. It's just, yeah, it's just inventive. Like, it's an inventive... Unexpected. Is that it? Did we do it? Yep, that's oh, it. Okay. It's done now. It's been done. Psycho pigs! And I guess this is our bird person tells us what to do. So how you been, Kyle? What's going on with you? Um... I don't know. Stuff sucks or whatever. I guess it's been okay. Yeah. It's still alive. That's something. Dark. <laughs> well, you know, it's those little victories that count. It's tough to know where you stand, though, because you said it sucks, but then you were like, it's been okay. Which one is it, Kyle? I don't know. Were you lying before or are you lying now? Both. You know, when I was in mock trial, when I was forced to be in mock trial in high school. Uh huh. Um, ooh. Ooh, I got a, so I'm a swashbuckler now. Oh, I want that. Yeah. Ah. Don't stop it. Um, that's what they, if you, if, uh, sorry. If a, if a, if a fake witness, if a high schooler pretending to be a witness in a crime had, had an inconsistency. Yeah. That's what they told us to say. They were like, say, were you lying before or are you lying now? I always felt like that was mean. That is pretty mean. Boy, this is a yeah. So, uh, up, so that's man. that's a uh, battle toads. Yeah, man, battle toads, huh? People like that. People love that. It's coming back, Keith. Get uh, ready for it. I don't know if I'm gonna play Pokemon Let's Go. It kind of looks like it's a lot like Pokemon Go, and I don't want to play that anymore. So, I've never played Banjo Tooie because I've never finished Banjo Kazooie. It's um, it's fine. It's better. It's the same thing. Want to play Perfect Dark? Yeah. I just played some GoldenEye last night. How was that? Probably sucked. No, it's fun. GoldenEye is a good game. We disagree there. You think Perfect Dark is worse than GoldenEye? I have only played the first two levels of Perfect Dark, but those first two levels are considerably worse than GoldenEye's first two levels, in my opinion. But is it... I know that, like, you know, the music... Oh, is this Perfect Dark Zero? No. This is the Xbox 360 re-release of Perfect Dark 1. So it has, like, it has or... Yeah, it's got, like, different graphics. Oh, I guess... I think that would suck, right? Do they have the just regular graphics? No, they don't. I don't know. I just... I know that we're about to play the remaster of Spyro, but a lot of times, like, when it went, like... When a janky old game is the plays the same but has good graphics, yeah. it makes it really apparent. I agree. Um, in in the case of Spyro, I think that was a game that still played really well but just looked ugly. So yeah. improving the graphics was kind of like a good good move there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Though I still wish the Spyro collection had like an old graphics option. That would be cool. I don't know why I gotta wait for this Xbox 360 info to okay.
Well, it needs to know. The Xbox One is a mystery sometimes. Yeah. No, but yeah, the, just the level design in this first Perfect Dark level, I think, is just very, very bad. It's just like, it's sort of an office building. Everything looks the same. I can't figure out where to go. Where if you compare it to the first level of GoldenEye, it is kind of just like a straight line, but like it works really well as like the first level of a video game that like introduces you to how the game works. How the game is trying to work. Burn. When was the last time you played GoldenEye? When we played GoldenEye to, for you to prove to me that it was fun. Oh, jeez. That was like a year and a half ago, maybe, right? Maybe two years ago? Probably, probably more than that. I'm, I'm pushing start to play. It certainly looks better than GoldenEye. Well, it would, since they redid all the graphics. Cool, did you want to not do that so that I could be the one who plays this? Or we could do multiplayer. Cooperative? Co uh, co let's kill each other, right? I don't want to do That's that. what Run Button's about. Did I? Yeah, you just turned off your controller. I thought I had already turned it off. No, you didn't. I think we should do Combat Simulator. I think we should do Cooperative. I do not think that. What happened? Man, I fucking hate doing... No. I'm not... No. I think I have to go first. Do we, do we want to... Do you want to do single player or do you want to do cooperative? I don't want to do competitive multiplayer. Uh, then I don't want to do cooperative, so... Okay. God damn it. That's me. What's the Carrington Institute? I think that's your, like, tutorial zone. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I guess I... Uh, it's... Whatever. Well, let's see if there are any... Better oh, music okay. than the last thing. Yeah. The Battletoads? Yeah, this music yes. is better than Battletoads. I, I, feel, I feel confident saying that Perfect Dark has better music than Battletoads. I'm doing... Sorry, I didn't... The, the reason I said it, said it was because I'm currently making a list. Uh, <laughs> every video game ever's music ranked. <laughs> Yeah, so like now with the improved graphics here, you still have a game that looks terrible, but like, if you're going to have a game that looks terrible, I feel like it might as well be like, you know, sort of like a, like a, like a, like a historical piece instead of just a brand new terrible thing you made. Though uh, her character model, Joanna Dark's character model in the original N64 version was... Oh boy, it sure was something. I don't remember what it looks like. I'm just going to double check. There's no, like... Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any... This display wouldn't be it. Yeah. Nah. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Steak Eater says, hey, sorry, Battletoads has good music. What happened? Wait, was it Battle Maniacs? I don't know what that means. Um, but no, we just learned the all together that Battletoads <laughs> has really bad music. The first level did not have good music. I don't know about any of the other levels. We played the second level, too. That also didn't have good music. Oh, yeah. You didn't want to try um, doing a stealth run? What do I do? I don't, I don't really think that's possible. Like, Goldeneye and Perfect Dark have, like, stealth mechanics where you can, like, avoid people and you can uh, try to kill people quietly so you don't, like, alert nearby guards. But I don't think there's any kind of, like, ability to do a full 
stealth run. I'm punching you now. Get ready for my punching. <laughs> Cover me. All right, fine. Sorry. Did she turn her gun sideways sometimes in the original? She oh yeah, like she, a cool gun lady. She must have. She just did it. It's a reload. That. Well, I guess I already failed. Remember they said that the gold keys needed those people to be alive? Nope. All right. It's the only thing that they said in in the cutscene. You know, I might not be, I'm going to be totally honest, I might not be totally committed to taking Perfect Dark super seriously right now. I think that, Kyle, I think that what you're doing by introducing this as the pilot... Uh, or as one of your your pilots is proving why we shouldn't do this one because because you actually don't want to play any of these games. I thought I wanted to play this until I realized how different it looked from the original, and then now I'm kind of like I'll just play regular. Perfect that guy looked like Tony Shalhoub. I don't know, man. This looks better than Goldeneye to me. It looks like it's more fun to do than Goldeneye. Do we? Well, you're not wrong. You're not right. Prove it. Do we have to set up like the original N64 versions of both and have you play play them back to back? Yeah, I'll do that for an episode or something. Yeah. All right, we can do that at some point. There's. Maybe it's just that watching you play because you're better at at Golden well, Eye and Perfect Dark than I am. The controls here are basically like your standard ass, like you know, Call of Duty controls. It doesn't control like the original one. Did. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, that's why. I wonder. Let's see if there's like any like classic. There must be. Oh. Yeah, classic. This, this right is there. what it's called, class. Okay, well, that's not. Sure. Well, there you have it. No. I mean, yeah, I would like to play Viva Binata or maybe like Nuts and Bolts or one of the original Banjo Kazooie games. Um,. I've never played Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, but it sounds like a nightmare. Ooh, boy. Yeah, yeah. I've, so I don't want to really do that. But I have never done it. Um, but yeah, it's just, just, you know, the jumping back and forth between the games is really wearing on me. That's, that is strange to me. Maybe I'm just tired. I don't know if you heard, but I've been very sick. Um, I was, uh, I was... I was, like, deathly ill for, like, four days until yesterday. Um, Should this pilot just be for Blast Core? <laughs> Listen, hey, I'll, if you, if you want to do a Blast Core LP, we'll just, we can just play through that whole game. I don't care. It's very short. Um, Blast Core is a really good game. Yeah. Um, play some Slalom. I'll play Slalom. All right, we'll play some Slalom. Here, let me, let me, let me get in on this. Um, I was Lex so sick that for like basically for three days in a row I didn't get any sleep because uh, I, I was too, you know when you're so sick that you can't fall asleep. Uh yeah I would I would I I'm familiar with that a little bit. Yeah I had one of those but for three days in a row that sucks. Yeah. Uh, Lexi wants to see Jet Force Gemini so yeah we should do that. It's a good game. Yeah that's fine. Oh this is this is by Rare Coinit Coinit Inc. You uh, doing okay there, buddy? Start button not doing anything for you? Mount Nasty. Yeah, it is. Am I... Where am I... Am I supposed to be... Do you push forward to go faster? I think you do. Whoop. Um. This is a 
another game that, yeah, you know, it's like, it might not look that impressive when you see it now. It's fun as shit, for, man. For NES, like, the curve on this road was, like, very good. Oh, oh. Just took that guy out. Yeah, I don't think... That's I don't your think rewind there's a... feature. What's that? That it, if you saw, like, the vignetting happen for a second, I think the left trigger is, like, your rewind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you uh, feel about rewind and retro games? I've, like, pro. never used it. Pro. In pro any rewind. Um, or I guess that's not true. I did it at some point recently for something. So, I, um... I think that there is such an enormous bar to most people enjoying a game that came out 30 years ago because of how severe... I mean, like, like it was... It's it's such the recent past that at some point it's like... like and, and, like, it's it, their game, so, like, you're really going to disqualify a game because it doesn't look and feel like a game from today, even though it's only a few years. Uh, but, like... Like, like someone like Andy, right? Um, yeah. Where like a game that's three years old is already like ancient to him, and he would, he won't play uh -huh. it. Um, but it's like so, so like because the bar is so high for getting people to try these sorts of games, yeah. like because they're meant to be really fucking hard, uh, like way more so than a game that would come out today, uh, which sucks. It's a bad way to make a game. Yeah, uh, we don't do it anymore for a reason. Um, uh, especially I mean, uh, with games that can come from like coin op lineages. Well, unless it's something where you're you're doing it intentionally and you're designing a, like a like a tough but fair kind of thing, like you know your Dark Souls or what. Have yeah, you. but it's like it, like um, I think I, Dark Souls is not even that. But Dark Souls, like when compared with something like um, like a like a coin op game from the '80s. Dark Souls is not fucking hard at all. That's a game where you get to save and you buy it once and you can play it forever for as long as you want. But like the games are decide like designed to steal quarters from idiot yeah. kids. Like those games are way harder than Dark Souls ever was. That's um, true, yeah. Um, <laughs> but so like adding the rewind and infinite live stuff, all that does to me is like like make a compelling case for why people should still be playing these. Can I give it a try? Yeah. I think for me it's it's not that I I can't understand uh, someone not enjoying like an old game that's janky and difficult. I think for me, it, it's the part I can't relate to is like rewind and infinite lives fixing that. Like that to me, it's like, oh, this game's too hard and it's not fun. Well, why don't we just break it? Like, why don't we just break the game in half? It's like, well, now it's just a broken game. I don't think it's bro. I don't think rewinding makes it broken. Right? I don't know. For me, it, it... Do you like Forza? Uh, I don't do Rewind in Forza, really, no. Really? Yeah, not really. Why? Uh, it's part of the game. I just don't... I don't like it. It's hard enough, even with you, when you use it. But the thing is, it like, Rewind, to me, takes away all the difficulty of something, so it just seems... It's like a nuclear option to a difficult game of, like, oh, this game's really hard, so just make it But it, it doesn't take away easy. all the difficulty of Forza. <laughs> like, you can... Like, you can rewind the same turn as yeah. much as you want and still come in fifth place because of all the times you didn't rewind. Like, rewinding yeah, a game doesn't so. mean you come in first place. Forza, Forza is a good one for rewind because... Uh, in a simulation style game, you can be in first for the entire race and then take one bad turn and then lose. So it's good to have rewind for that. Ooh, what'd I do? Okay. Oh, I, all right, I guess I just played enough slalom. Do you want to do this more or should we? Uh, we can do something else. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, like don't use it if you don't want to use it, but I would much rather like rewind it for a second to recover from Cause like, um, what milestones we got in here for... Like, because, like, long. games are built on rewinding when you fuck up anyway. It's just that most games use checkpointing, and it's not precise rewinding. It's That's like true, a skip-back yeah. 30 seconds button, you know? Like, yeah. it's not... It's... Um, I don't think just rewinding is anything more than just being more precise with how far back you have to go. And, and I'm coming off of especially playing a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, 
where the checkpointing and save states are so horrifically bad. Hmm. Um, I heard they were pretty good. No, they're terrible. Okay. Whoever said they were good was lying or <laughs> stupid. Who said that? Okay, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, the checkpointing is terrible in that game. So it's got... I'm pretty sure this is the thing that Rockstar does consistently. Um, there's no auto saves inside of a mission. There's checkpoints, but no saves. So, like... And then sometimes the checkpointing is also really okay. terrible, especially... Especially in, um, uh, like when you're traveling, like if you're like tra like going with your buddies to a mission, and something happens where like you fall over and they get too far away, or you know you you know look at something and they get too far away, uh, uh, and then they'll like be like, sorry, you didn't stay with your group. Now you have to do this whole traveling segment over again. Like it's awful. It's terrible. Um, I have consistently been put back, like... Oh, what did I do? Um, what the... I forgot the controls in this are insane. Okay, this right stick makes me strafe. Uh, what is the shoot button? Oh, okay, it didn't work before. Oh, right, okay. I tried to fire a rocket, and when I pulled the trigger... Nice. It, when I pulled the trigger, it switched weapons... But it was just because I was out of ammo, so it was like doing an auto switch thing. This is another one that I don't think I've done. I fucking love this game. And by the way, I just I wanted to clarify. Uh, right in this pilot, I'm jumping around from game to game like every five minutes. But I think if we did this as a let's play, it would be more like, hey, what do we want to play for the next hour? And like pick one game. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna do better at this. Do you? Do you know what's really fucking drives me crazy about, um... I like how they just start you off with a hundred guns. Oh, this is in the middle of the game. Oh, okay. Um... Have you... Ooh. Uh, oh, something, something that has really been bothering me about Red Dead is, um... The way that, uh... This thing is creepy. Yeah, that's a, that is a death animation. Um... Like... Sometimes it wants you to do a specific thing and it won't communicate that to you. And it just like won't, it, it will just like. In Red Dead? In Red Dead. Okay. Like, so it wanted me to, it wanted me to get these vaccines from this, from this, uh, uh, car. Uh, it wanted me to steal them for this guy. Uh, he didn't want me to kill the people, but he said, like, you know, if it yeah. has, like, if it has to. If you have to kill them, you can kill them. But, like, please try not to kill them. So I was like, okay, I won't kill them. And so I decided that what I was going to do is I was going to lasso one and hogtie him. And then just go and lasso the other uh, and hope that his gun didn't kill me. But it was just like, like, oh, you can't lasso these two characters because they want you to do find a different way to do this. Um, Weird. And so I tried to just, I tried, like, punching them to death. and Or not punching them to death. I tried to, like, knock them out by punching them. And punching them killed them, which, like, doesn't happen in any other scenario. So it's like, okay, obviously Weird. there's some fucking thing that they want me to be doing, but I, I don't want I don't want to, like, play their dumb, like, game Guessing by their game, weird... Yeah. yeah, I don't want to, like, figure out, like, like, oh, do I have to follow them to some place and while they're going to the bathroom, take it? Like, no, I just want to get it done. So I eventually just, like, jumped onto the cart, stole the vaccines while they're shooting at me, and then jumped off and ran away. Um... Uh, but, and, like, that sort of shit is just happening, like, all the time. It's really obnoxious. Um, like, I've had, like, five or six different scenarios where there was, like, a weird thing that they wanted me to do, and I couldn't do it the way I normally would do it because I was in a mission or whatever. Uh, without them, by the way, communicating that I couldn't do this. Like, um, times when they were, like, a big shootout, and they're, like, John Marston's, like, come over here and help us shoot over here. And there's a handful of guys left on this side that I want to kill first. And then they'll just have a character kill you. Like, regardless of how much health you have, in a way that doesn't... Is, it shouldn't happen according to the game rules. And instead of being like, dead, you died because you got shot. It'll be like, dead, you didn't listen to John Marston. Oh. It sucks. It's such an annoying fucking thing. Ugh. What a dumb game. 
Yeah, you know you should try. What? I'm not playing that game anymore. Oh, a lot of it's really fun, so I'm oh, okay. still playing it. Um. Hmm. Unable to connect to chat. What? What's happening on there, too? Wah, wah. Um, hey, the chat seems like it's down. The stream seems like it's up. So if someone wants to tweet at me and make sure that the stream's still up, that would be great. If I can even find my... They heard me talking shit about Red Dead and they turned off the street. <laughs> the Housers have their hands everywhere. Their fingers are in everything. Whoop! Watching, um... Watching certain sites' positive coverage of Red Dead is, like, so uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Polygon specifically has had, like, so... Has had, like, just endless... Um... Endless compliments to pay for this fucking game that is so clearly, like, flawed, like, in serious ways. Huh. Um... Uh, you know how the game's, like, super confusing and the buttons are crazy uh -huh, and the menus yeah. are weird? There was a Polygon article about how, uh, yeah, like, saw, the I best thing about the game was the replayable tutorials, because <laughs> the game is so complicated that no one can remember how to play it. <laughs> and Polygon just like, yeah, the tutorials for this game are awesome. Ooh, we got some chests over here. Yeah, I remember you tweeting about that. The stream is up, but most of YouTube is dead. That's weird. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, this stream. Hey, this stream is now the only thing left on YouTube it's you can watch. <laughs> this is an extra exclusive uh, stream now. All right. Um. Yeah, I, I said this to you off stream, but uh, I every time I've gone to Red Dead Redemption Two, I, it's just. I felt really bored and just not really felt like I wanted to do anything in it and I uh -huh. more just felt like I was playing it just because I because everyone else liked it so much that I was like trying to force myself to like it. I don't think everyone likes it that it. much. I don't know anybody that like just unconditionally likes it. Well, I don't I don't know that there's I mean I, the the few game podcasts that I've been listening to almost everybody has felt like the the positives of that game greatly outweigh its flaws. Well, I don't know. So I, I, I don't listen to a lot of video games podcasts. I heard, mm -hmm. I happened to listen to an episode of um, the Beast Cast, mm -hmm. and it was Dan Reichert actually surprisingly saying how much he's disliking it. Um, and they, they ref, they mentioned that uh, <laughs> that Jeff Gerstmann also hated it right away. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's true. And. I know that um, the Waypoint podcast has mostly been them, like, being really conflicted about e pretty much everything also. I haven't heard anybody who, ha who has been talking about it without recognizing, without at least recognizing that yeah, it's sure. got big problems. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Except so I Polygon headlines. Right. Yeah, so I just think for me it got to a point where it was like, it's sort of like, you know, it's the holidays, all these different games are coming out, and I just don't feel like I want to keep forcing myself to try to play this 75-hour game when I could play uh, Return of the Obra Dinn or Hitman 2. Uh, you don't know about the Return of the Obra Dinn? No. Oh, boy. What's geez. the Return of the Obra Dinn? Ah, oh, jeez. Is there even enough time left in this video to explain it to you? I don't know, is there? I don't know, maybe there's not. Alright, chat's back. Chat's back. 
What's Return of the Oberdin? Uh, so Return of the Oberdin. Spell Ober- Oberdin. O B R A space D I N N. Okay. Uh, it's it's the new game from Lucas Pope, who is the he's Mr. Papers Please. Oh oh, I heard about this, but didn't hear about what it was. I okay. Just heard that it was. Yeah, it is. It's a. It's pretty hard to describe. It's it's a very I strange love these game. Bugs, these ant guys move. Yeah, they're great. They remind me of hunters, actually, kind of. Yeah, they're hunterish. Um, so the Oberdin uh, is a ship. The game takes place in the early 1800s. Uh, it is an East India Company ship that set out, I guess for India, probably, from England. Uh, didn't make it very far and uh, drifted back with no living people aboard. Uh, you are an insurance adjuster. Um, the East India Company, I believe, is a Dutch company, not an English company. Maybe that, there's two. Maybe that, there's, that doesn't sound right to me. Maybe there's the East India Company and the Dutch East India Company, but... Um, I mean, the East India Company was practically like an extension of the British government. Like, it, it, it's a very weird thing. It's like a private company, but they had all these allowances to basically, yeah, like, Yeah, no, operate. sorry, you're right. There's, there's a Dutch... There's a Dutch East India Company that is the same thing... But for the Dutch. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's stupid. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, so you're an insurance adjuster, and what you're supposed to do is go on board and try to figure out what happened to everybody and basically figure out how much insurance has to be paid out. Uh, but the, the the twist that is given no ceremony is that you have a magical notebook and a magical pocket watch that allows you to relive the moments of death of any body that you find. Anybody that you find in real life or anybody that you find in, a in, in another memory of a person's death. So, you, you know, you go on board. Oh, you, so you can go real deep. Yeah. So they, often there will be like, you know, you, you find one dead body, you experience the... It's, so it's like a 3D snapshot that you can move around in. It's all like a freeze frame kind of thing. And it'll give you like five to ten seconds of dialogue before you enter that. Um... And it's, um, so yeah, sometimes there'll be like chains where you go into one memory and there's a dead body in that one. And then you fall that into a different memory and you find a dead body in that memory and you you go through this whole kind of chain of events. And so ultimately there's 60 people on board and you, you have a crew manifest. So you have a list of everybody and uh, their job and what country they come from. And you have, like, a few, like, artist renderings of, like, the everybody on board. And uh, you have to go through these memories and figure out who everyone is and how they died. Uh, and it's it's really, it's, it's very tough. Is it good? Um, it's, yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it a lot. It's, it's, it's weird to even call it a puzzle game because it's, you know, there's no, like, traditional puzzles. It's just sort of the whole scenario is kind of its own puzzle. But you you have to start making these pretty large leaps of logic. Like, uh, there's a glossary that mentions that... Uh, it, it So there's a small glossary that'll tell you, like, this is what a, a midshipman is, and this is what a topman is, and that kind of thing. Uh, and it mentions, like... Ship terms? Yeah, it'll, it mentions that, like, midshipman's... Uh, are usually of, uh, well, like, a, like they're they're of a higher class, basically. Uh-huh. So there's like one memory where uh, they're slaughtering a cow and one guy's throwing up, and they're like, "Oh, what's wrong, Peter? Never been on a farm before." And then you're supposed to figure out, like, "Oh, I bet he's a midshipman because you know he hasn't seen that much stuff, you know, that kind of thing." Right. He's a midship, and then there's high shipments and low shipments. There's topmen. They work in the rigging. Because it's on top. Lowmen? No. There's no lowmen. No low men in yellow coats. And no death of a salesman. I mean, everybody dies, really. <laughs> yeah, but no salesman. No, no salesman. Um, anything else you've been playing? Uh, I've been playing that Tetris Effect. Oh, yeah, I don't talk about that. Okay. Save game. Game nice. saved. Uh, 
I think we maybe maybe play like one more thing and get the fuck out of here with this. Yeah, this guy. I mean, yeah. What do you want to play? Hmm. Go play six hours of Grab by the Ghoulies. God, no, I don't want to do that. Grab by the Ghoulies is not bad. I have not found a way to enjoy it, but I'm glad that you like it. I don't, li I don't like really like it. It's just fine. You want to play the the weird snake game? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Snake rattle and roll. It's bad though. <laughs> no, it's not. It's been fun. All right. Well, you play it and show us how fun it is. See if I remember how to do this. I mean, it's it sure is a title. Yeah. And it's, it's a good song. So, you're a snake? Yeah. What are you doing here? I gotta rattle a little bit. I gotta roll a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Well, I gotta get these it, little... You gotta avoid those Roombas. Because they're trying to vacuum some stuff. I've gotta eat... I've gotta eat... Some stuff... To get, um... More length on me. Okay. See, see that guy up there? I see that. Is that... I can't remember if that's, um more length or if that's another life it looks like a life if i if i know my video game language so the problem with this game is how difficult it is to control that's the real issue um hmm i don't weigh enough okay oh do i have to eat yeah this maybe guy? you eat those balls Oh, those are oh those balls yeah, sorry the the other at the other place was it was balls. Well, you got eaten by something. I got eaten, yeah. There you go. Uh, come on, man. Charlington Beast Code says uh, Sonic 3D Blast. What do you think about that? Sorry, I don't think anything about that. You don't think anything about. Sonic 3D Blast? No. Okay. I don't think anything about that. What, uh, have I have I been playing anything else? I guess not. Not really. You been playing anything else? Um. God, I've like just been playing Red Dead. It's dumb. Hmm. Um. I I keep thinking about stopping. And then I yeah. don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, every time I think about stopping, I, like, have a good time doing something else. Okay, sure. Mostly it's like, um, like, I'll do a story mission that's really frustrating, and then I'll do, hmm. like, a side mission that's really nice. Yeah. I think also for me the problem is that, um, I, I just really don't like, I don't like the story, really. And no, like, I, and it just feels the whole game feels like it's presented in this way where it's like this sort of like Bethesda RPG kind of thing where it's like, hey, this is just your cowboy world, just go be whatever kind of cowboy you want. But then oh, like the no, story is like that way at all. The story is like very specifically like you are this person and he's not good. I think that you're wrong. I think that you are wrong about everything that you just said. I don't think you've been so wrong about anything in a long time. Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> I well because because okay, but I'm I've been playing I've played a lot more of this game and the game is like obnoxiously like to a fault um get like throwing characters at Arthur the main character uh thro throwing people at him who are insisting that he's a good guy and not actually a bad guy. He is a bad guy. He's a right. murderer. But he he you know he does do nice things for people and he's. He's like, why can't we be murderers that are more, you know, picky yeah, and choosy about who we murder than Dutch, our, our big boss, is mean. Um, uh, but, like, yeah, like, I, I like, like any any Rockstar, this is Rockstar's yeah. game's problems all the time. Yeah. Like, back but I, from I, Nico Bellic, who's just like, I don't want to be a criminal, I want to just be a guy who's in America. And then you spend the rest of the game, like, using rocket launchers to blow up random cars. <laughs> right, yeah. it's funny. 
Um, no, I, yeah, it's totally consistent with Rockstar's output. It's just like it, it's just but, getting worse and worse. But I think that this is a game that there's a toilet seat trying to eat you. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a that's a bad guy in there. Um, more than any other Rockstar game, I think it's easier to decide to not be doing that stuff and to 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 actually oh, be mostly know. a good guy. I mean, I know because I've done it. I have not really been killing anybody. Um, I mean, like, there's there's that scene where you fucking take the guy from the yeah, other gang back to your something. camp, and Dutch is like, hey, take that hot iron and castrate this guy, and your character just, like, stands there and watches it, like, no problem with this. But they don't castrate that guy. They don't, but he they were gonna. No, they were joking. I th thought it was obviously a joke. No. I think you what? should watch that scene again. I, wa I remember the scene. It was a I knew the whole time that it was a joke. Okay. I don't knew they weren't gonna castrate that guy. Um... What the fuck, right? That thing is killing you, I think. What thing? Oh, it says time out, so I guess you ran out. Oh, time out. I f okay. That's fine. Alright, I'm done. Alright. Um. That's a rare replay. The, um. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they, I, I don't think that they ever... I think that maybe in like marketing they might say like 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 play your own way cowboy maybe, maybe I should say that has been like a lot of what I've been hearing from people is they're like oh yeah I just like yeah, going out and doing my own game. thing well that's that's different than like I get to be a light side or a dark side cowboy like cause I do like to go out and do my own thing like I like to go out and hunt and you know help out the camp and you know um, find stuff uh, to craft, but I don't like to go rob trains. No, it's not fun. Um, like I don't like to just go like kill people. Um, I don't know. I think the narrative, the, the story of the game, I think is really consistent. You and you probably have left. You probably like if you're playing the story and you're like this story isn't making any sense. There's a point, like, like. Well, I don't, I don't think it doesn't make sense. I mean, I like, I just don't really care for it. It doesn't. Well, you were saying like it, it feels inconsistent. No, I didn't. You did. You didn't say the word inconsistent. Then what's your problem with it? My problem with it is I don't want to be this character or hang out with any of the people he hangs out with. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. He also doesn't. Like, and that's, yeah, where but that's... becoming clearer and clearer. Where he's like, yeah, no, yeah, I... these people are crazy. Um. And so that's what the story of the game is. The story okay. of the game is like Arthur being like, "Oh, this these people that were my family are actually okay. Um, like I don't know how to leave them even though they're bad." Got uh, it. So, all right. Well, that's uh, that's our look at Rare Replay. If you would like to see us play more Rare Replay, go uh, go to patreoncom run button and sign up and then vote for it. Happy birthday, Ice Cream Jones. Yeah, happy birthday, Ice Cream Jones. And happy birthday to run button. to all of you watching. Oh, okay. It's also it's hey, the yeah, run. I guess run button too. It's run button's birth anniversary, seven years old. Happy birth anniversary. Officially responsible for our own actions according to Roman law. Ah, oh, damn it. Actually, it's good to know that all that other stuff we did before now is just kind mm -hmm. of, yeah, that's good. It only counts now. That sounds good.